other truck manufacturer offers an array of sport utility vehicles broader than Chevrolet. For 1998, Tracker joins the Chevy truck family as the entry-level SUV. Tracker now wears the Chevy truck bow tie and sports true Chevy truck features, like a ladder-type frame, high ground clearance, and true four-wheel drive. It joins Blazer, Tahoe, and Suburban in the industry's largest sport utility lineup. For many reasons, Tracker can be called the multicultural member of the Chevy sport utility family. That's because its convertible and hardtop models appeal to a diverse group of young people. In fact, nearly half of all Tracker buyers are less than 35 years old. Let's take a closer look at this entry-level SUV. Unlike many of its competitors in the mini sport utility class, Tracker is truly a truck from the ground up. Tracker's built on a truck platform that includes a strong, solid steel frame with boxed side rails up front to support the engine and other heavyweight components. This stable foundation helps resist the twisting forces associated with off-roading and contributes to Tracker's solid on-road ride and handling characteristics. That frame and the truck's free revving overhead cam engine also allows Tracker to tow up to 1,500 pounds when properly equipped. And that's more than enough to haul a dirt bike or personal watercraft. Tracker's 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine features multi-port fuel injection and is designed for spirited driving, especially when paired with the truck's standard five-speed manual transmission. Optional transmissions include a three-speed automatic and an electronically controlled four-speed automatic with overdrive. When your Tracker customers do pull their toys to the playground, they'll be happy to know that Tracker 4x4s feature more than eight full inches of ground clearance and a tight turning diameter of 32.2 feet. Largely responsible for that maneuverability is the truck's recirculating ball steering system, a system similar to that used on Blazer, Tahoe, and Suburban. Like their Chevy SUV relatives, four-wheel drive trackers are built to take punishment. A fuel tank shield is standard on 4x4s, while front transfer case and differential skid plates are available for further underbody protection. For off-roading, 4x4 trackers feature a two-speed transfer case, including a creeper gear that maximizes torque from the truck's 16-valve engine. The standard manual front-locking hub system can now remain locked for prolonged periods of time, allowing shift-on-the-fly convenience. Automatic front locking hubs are also available. Inside, Tracker features more Chevy truck muscle. Under here is a steel beam that runs the width of the instrument panel to add structural rigidity and help minimize squeaks and rattles. And while we're in here, let's talk about a couple of new for 98 features. Custom lattice cloth seat fabric is now standard on all four-door models for added style, while the convenience package, formerly an LSI exclusive, is available on all four-door models. This package provides buyers with power windows, power door locks, and remote-controlled outside rearview mirrors. A new family of radios also debuts for 98, giving buyers a wide range of choices, including a CD player. Of course, Tracker features standard front airbags to help ensure occupant protection and four-wheel ABS to avoid accidents in the first place. And don't forget, the hood release is located here in the glove box for added security. Because Tracker is often equipped with aftermarket roof racks to haul bicycles or skis, the operation of the rear door is very important. Tracker's rear door swings open on side hinges rather than upward to provide easy access to roof-mounted equipment, and avoid bumping the tips of skis or other gear. Now for two-door convertible buyers, roof access takes on a completely different meaning, something our partner Tom Dalton investigated. Ah, there's nothing quite like cruising the open road with the wind in your hair, and that's easy to do even without the optional fan. Uh, anyway, this rag top can be easily installed, manipulated, and removed by one person, and I'm just the one person to prove it. First, you unhook these latches. Then, you simply fold back the front bow. Then you secure the canvas top with this strap and voila, a sunroof. Ah, you're not satisfied. You want more? Well, how about removing both of the side windows? Still not enough open air fun? Well, how about retracting the entire top and then securing it with this strap? No matter how you look at it, Tracker's convertible top is easy to use. And for more complete information, consult the truck's owner's manual or the Chevy truck product guide. 
because when you present a two-door tracker, you can be pretty confident the convertible top will be a feature your customer will find interesting. Tracker joins the Chevy Sport Utility lineup for 1998 with a variety of new appearance features, including two new exciting colors and a restyled steel wheel. The manual locking hub system has also been improved for added convenience. And as you know, Tracker almost always benefits from aftermarket goodies like bike carriers or ski racks. So let's take a few seconds to review the newest member of Chevy's Sport Utility family. It's a truck, all right, with a ladder-type steel frame and the ability to tow up to 1,500 pounds. And it's maneuverable, with a tight turning diameter and impressive ground clearance. Tracker is entertaining with a new family of radios, including a system with a CD player. And safety conscious, with standard front airbags and four-wheel ABS. The 1998 Chevy Tracker, another member of the industry's largest sport utility lineup. Blazer has been right for the market ever since its introduction in the early 1980s. Over those years, this pioneering compact sport utility vehicle has seen engine and suspension refinements, numerous safety additions, even a complete redesign inside and out. The 1998 model year marks yet another milestone for Chevy's best-selling sport utility. As this truck moves further upscale, while still giving your buyers what they've come to expect, complete driver control in a stylish and comfortable package. Inside, outside, and under its skin, Blazer features numerous improvements for 1998, all geared to meet customer expectations. In fact, the truck features thousands of new parts this year. Let's take a closer look at a few of them, starting with the exterior. They say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but they didn't say anything about a truck. One look at the 1998 Blazer, and it's obvious this, first and foremost, is a Chevy truck. All models receive new composite halogen headlamps that are larger than last year's lamps for better nighttime visibility. Plus, available fog lamps placed stylishly above the bumper line help provide secure driving in inclement weather. Standard daytime running lamps aren't new. They still increase the truck's visibility to others for enhanced safety. But automatic on headlamps are new for 1998. The system automatically engages the headlamps at full power whenever it senses a low light condition. And if that doesn't sound smart enough, consider this. The Auto-On system also includes a time delay feature for tunnels and other temporary lighting changes. Blazer's grille has been redesigned for 98 and now displays a strong Chevy truck family resemblance. Chrome and body color bumpers are also new this year, while new body side moldings enhance Blazer's profile. These heated outside rearview mirrors are just one example of Blazer offering your buyers the upscale features they're asking for. The remote control mirrors help clear mist, snow and ice quickly and are standard on LT models. Back here is a new body color integral step bumper for easy access to roof mounted luggage or sporting equipment. The bumper also includes a provision for a trailer hitch capable of towing up to 3,500 pounds. When properly equipped, Blazer can haul up to 5,500 pounds, more than either Toyota 4Runner or Nissan Pathfinder. Here's another feature that Blazer buyers may be interested in, the rear lift gate. The beauty of the lift gate is the loading flexibility it gives your customers. For example, this lift glass opens to accept small packages, while the entire structure opens high for clear and easy access to the rear cargo area. The lift gate is easy to close, too, thanks to this convenient grab handle. And once the lift gate is closed, a rear washer, wiper, and defogger help enhance the driver's rearward visibility. Blazer's overall size is just right. It's compact enough to be very maneuverable. In fact, the turning diameter on four-door models is tighter than both Ford Explorer and Jeep Grand Cherokee. And Blazer is large enough to carry nearly 75 cubic feet of stuff or six adult passengers. Those passengers will experience an entirely new interior on the 1998 Blazer, so let's take a closer look. 
Blazer's interior has been completely redesigned this year with new seats, an updated instrument panel, and the addition of safety and security features, including next-generation dual airbags, which help supplement the truck's safety belt system. Blazer's instrument panel has been redesigned to be more accommodating. In fact, the new IP cants the heating, cooling, and sound system controls 15 degrees towards the driver for easier access. The new instrument panel also features large, easy-to-read analog gauges for oil pressure, coolant temperature, and voltage. Now, the vast majority of Blazers feature an electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission. And for 98, all Blazers with this transmission have a column-mounted shift lever. Innovative upscale features are also part of Blazers' refined interior. For example, Electronic climate control is now included with LT models to maintain a specific temperature setting for optimum driver and passenger comfort. For hands-free convenient operation, this electrochromic mirror also debuts on Blazer for 98. It automatically dims when the reflections of following headlamps are detected. Here I'll show you how it works with this flashlight. When the mirror sensors detect glare, they signal electrical currents which darken the glass. The change in the mirror's reflectance is so fast, smooth, and subtle, there is little or no distraction to the driver, whose hands never have to leave the steering wheel. Blazer's seats have been re-engineered for enhanced comfort and security this year. The inboard safety belt buckle actually travels with the seat as it moves. To find out more, we dispatched our buddy Tom Dalton. You know, Blazer is chock full of standard safety features, like dual next-generation airbags, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, daytime running lamps, the list goes on. But no single safety feature is more important than the truck safety belts. And for 1998, Blazer takes away at least one excuse for people not wearing them. Some people refuse to wear their safety belts because they say, well, they're not very comfortable. Well, not only does Blazer feature child comfort guides for the little ones, this year we have a nifty traveling safety belt buckle too. Now, move the seat forward and the buckle moves with you. Move it back and it moves back too. You can't shake it, it's always in the correct position. Now what that means is once you've assumed your driving position, simply adjust your seatbelts accordingly and that comfortable position will be maintained no matter how much you travel. In addition to convenient inboard safety belt buckles on the front seats, headrests are now included on Blazer's rear seats for additional comfort and safety in the event of a collision. And check this out. When Blazer's second row seats are folded into the down position, the headrests automatically stow themselves out of the way. And you can do all this with only one hand. Now that's the kind of thoughtful design Blazer customers have come to expect. Another thing your Blazer buyers have come to expect with this truck is a bit of security in an otherwise insecure world. Blazer promises driver control, and it delivers thanks to a harmonized system of chassis features. Think of it this way. Blazer's driver control system can be likened to the martial arts. Blazer owners like karate or judo experts know they can handle whatever the world throws at them. For example, Blazer customers may never take their trucks off-road, while martial artists rarely participate in physical altercations. But both have the confidence of knowing they can, should the situation arise. The foundation of Blazer's driver control is its ladder-type frame that features box side rails all the way back to the rear spring area. The rigidity of this foundation contributes to Blazer's ride, handling, payload capacity, and trailering ability. Working in conjunction with the frame are distinct suspension systems, each a set of matched components tailored to meet different customer driving scenarios, from highway commuting to off-road stump jumping. All suspension packages feature an independent short long arm design in the front to step over bumps and large diameter front and rear stabilizer bars to help control body lean during cornering. Specially manufactured tuned tires are also included to handle a variety of weather conditions while delivering a very quiet ride. But the system goes even further to provide driver control. Blazer's variable ratio power steering provides smooth performance and car-like responsiveness. And for 1998, a new brake system debuts as well. To learn more about Blazer's new four-wheel disc brakes, we called upon our partner, John Crawford. For 1998, all Blazers come with four-wheel disc brakes as standard. 
These vented front and rear disc brakes will give us improved stopping performance and also, compared to drum brakes, improved heat dissipation, which helps fight brake fade. In addition to that, these vented discs will give us longer brake life. As a matter of fact, depending on how the vehicle is driven and the brakes are used, we have the opportunity to see as much as twice the brake life that we saw with our former front disc rear drum system. In addition to that, our customers are going to feel the improvements in their right foot. We have decreased pedal pressure required, we have decreased pedal throw, and we have improved response time. And don't forget, Blazer still comes with four-wheel ABS as standard equipment to help improve steering control and reduce the opportunity for wheel lockup. While standard four-wheel disc brakes stop Blazer effectively, making this truck go is yet another component of the truck's driver control system, the Vortec 4300 V6, which generates 190 horsepower and 250 foot-pounds of torque. In addition to outstanding power, this V6 also has a variety of extended maintenance features, including platinum-tipped spark plugs, which can go up to 100,000 miles before the first scheduled tune-up. Dex Cool Engine Coolant is also used in the Vortec 4300 V6, and this new age antifreeze is designed to last up to 150,000 miles. A feature your customers can't really see but will use virtually every time they get behind the wheel is a new body controller computer. This ingenious little contraption controls several new features on the truck, including automatic on headlamps, battery rundown protection, the pass lock security system, and the turn signal on reminder chime, which is activated if you leave your turn signal on more than three quarters of a mile. Now let's recap the 1998 Blazer's main selling points. A freshened exterior look with new headlamps, bumpers, and grills that show a strong Chevy truck family resemblance. An available lift gate that offers great flexibility for loading and unloading small parcels or heavy gear. A completely redesigned interior with new seats, an updated instrument panel, and the addition of next generation airbags. And a unique driver control system, a set of matched chassis components that give owners a sense of security in an otherwise insecure world. The 1998 Blazer is everything it's always been, stylish, comfortable, and able to take on all driving conditions. But the 1998 Blazer is more than it's ever been, too, with an aggressive new look, a variety of new and proven safety features, and several luxury convenience items. When you're the king of the hill, sometimes it seems that everyone's out to knock you off your perch. Well, that's certainly true in the world of full-size sport utility vehicles, where Chevrolet is firmly positioned on top and new competitors keep trying to charge up the hill. Chevy's Tahoe Suburban 1-2 Punch delivers more power, more room, more towing muscle, more models, and more personal luxury than any of the one-size-fits-all competitors. These strengths helped Tahoe and Suburban set new sales records the last two years. But like any true champion, Chevrolet isn't resting on its laurels for 1998. Tahoe and Suburban deliver even more technology and comfort with new features such as a standard pass lock security system, an innovative auto track active transfer case, the availability of GM's unique OnStar system, and a comfort and security package on LT models. Now let's take a look at the 1998 Suburban and Tahoe. When the four-door Tahoe hit the ground in the spring of 1995, it created an entirely new niche in the full-size sport utility market. It was a perfect fit between two-door Tahoe and Suburban. Sales skyrocketed, and that sent the competition scrambling to play catch-up. In 1997, we saw Ford and Lincoln Mercury Expedition and Navigator models, and Lexus unveiled the LX450. This year, you'll see the new Dodge Durango, and even Mercedes-Benz is getting into the act. But the bottom line is, they still can't match everything Chevy has to offer with the Tahoe Suburban tandem, and it starts with model choices. Tahoe is the only vehicle in the segment to offer a two-door model, which is popular with outdoor enthusiasts and off-roaders. Then there's this baby, the four-door Tahoe. It has a well-deserved reputation for offering a high level of comfort and personal luxury combined with the durability, 
security and utility people expect from a Chevy truck. Both two and four door models are available in two wheel or four wheel drive, seat up to six people and have plenty of room left behind the rear seat for cargo. For people who need the most power, trailer towing capability, and room, no competitor can match Chevy Suburban. Suburban offers the choice of two powerful gasoline Vortec V8s and the 6.5 liter V8 turbo diesel, the ability to tow up to 10,000 pounds when properly equipped, and roomy seating for up to nine adults. Both Tahoe and Suburban are designed to deliver a secure and comfortable ride. Chevy engineers created a frame with a drop center design that helps keep the step-in height low. So even though these are full-size trucks, you never feel like you're climbing up into a big rig just to get inside. When available running boards are added, getting in and out is even easier. But even though it's a snap to get into the truck, when you're behind the wheel, you still get a commanding view of the road and surrounding traffic. Safety and security, like the feeling you get behind the wheel of Tahoe and Suburban, are important issues with today's truck buyers. That's why last year, Chevrolet added a standard passenger side airbag to go along with the driver's side airbag to help protect occupants in certain frontal collisions. This year, Tahoe and Suburban received next generation airbags. For 1998, a new security feature is also added to help protect the investments people have made in these trucks. It's GM's PassLock theft deterrent system. With PassLock, the vehicle can only be started with a properly cut key. The key itself completes the circuit in the ignition and allows the vehicle to start. If a thief breaks or bypasses the ignition cylinder and tries to start the truck with a tool, it simply won't start. In addition, after a failed attempt to illegally start the vehicle, the truck won't start again for 10 minutes, even if the proper key is used. In many areas of the country, people also appreciate the security of four-wheel drive. Whether they're negotiating a twisting off-road trail or just trying to make it home safely on a snowy night, 4x4 Tahoe and Suburban models again offer the shift-on-the-fly convenience of four-wheel drive. Instatrack, with its floor-mounted shifter, is still available, but there's more to the traction story for 1998. It's called AutoTrack, a new four-wheel drive active transfer case. John Crawford had the chance to check it out. The AutoTrack active transfer case system is an option on Suburban and Tahoe for 98. It offers four driving positions for your customers. Too high, which should be used in normal driving conditions. Auto four-wheel drive, or auto 4WD. And this should be used in changeable road conditions. When you select this mode, it engages the front axle shafts, but the vehicle is in two-wheel drive, rear drive, until it senses a loss of traction. It then automatically engages the four-wheel drive system. Now, this is an advantage to your customers for two reasons. First, they don't have to worry about shifting in and out of four-wheel drive as road conditions change. And second, the four-wheel drive shift is done automatically, and it's transparent to your customers. We also offer four high, which is traditional four-wheel drive, as well as four low, which should only be used in low traction, low speed situations. Now, the auto track system also offers a neutral mode for towing the vehicle, and we recommend that you and your customers take a look at the owner's manual for the proper operation of this mode. In addition to the AutoTrack active transfer case, another exciting enhancement to Tahoe and Suburban for 1998 is the availability of the GM OnStar system. Tom Dalton had a chance to find out more. You know, even though the Suburban can seat up to nine adults comfortably, there will be times when the driver's alone in this full-size sports ute. But with OnStar on board, you're never ever really alone. And that's because this dealer installed option connects your Chevy truck buyers to advisors and technology that work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year. Well, you get the idea. Now, OnStar combines the truck cellular telephone with GPS satellite technology and the 24-hour OnStar Center to do many wonderful things. But just so you know, the telephone is provided as part of the package, but the customer provides the cellular service. Now, for enhanced safety and security, the system automatically notifies OnStar advisors whenever the truck's airbags deploy. That way, an emergency vehicle can be dispatched if need be. And what if the truck's stolen? 
Well, then OnStar becomes Colombo, Kojak, and Magnum PI all rolled into one. And that's because the system can track the stolen truck and notify the proper authorities of its exact whereabouts. Now, OnStar can also help your customers access databases to find things like ATM machines, hotels, or even restaurants. In fact, OnStar can even unlock the truck's power locks in the event the keys accidentally get uh, locked inside. Like I said before, you're never alone with OnStar. Excuse me. Hello, OnStar? Yes, I locked the uh, keys in the truck. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. As you can probably tell by now, with features such as OnStar, AutoTrack, and PassLock, security is an important theme for Tahoe and Suburban. Yet another example of this theme is the new Comfort and Security Package for LT models. It includes the premium ride suspension with tuned 46mm Bilstein shocks, heated outside rear view mirrors that clear frost and condensation to give drivers an unobstructed view. The mirrors also have a self-dimming feature that helps cut down on the glare created by the headlights of trailing vehicles at night. On the comfort side, there are heated leather seats, carpeted floor mats, and a six-way power passenger seat on four-door Tahoe and Suburban. Like the available outside rearview mirrors, the inside mirror is also self-dimming. This mirror features a built-in compass and an outside temperature display. The new package includes the Homelink transmitter, too, that can be programmed to activate garage door openers and turn on house lights all securely from inside the vehicle, as well as a reversible cargo mat in the rear that features carpet on one side and vinyl on the other. Everything about these trucks gives you a feeling of confidence and comfort. Even small details like bold and straightforward gauges, where it's easy to see the speedometer, standard tachometer, and other readouts at a glance and controls that are logically placed so you aren't searching for them as you drive. Controls for the headlamp high beams and cruise control are conveniently located on the turn signal stock, while the heater and air conditioning can be set using these large rotary dials. All Tahoe and Suburban models, regardless of trim level, are also equipped with many practical convenience features. There's a pull-out cup holder built into the dash, two power accessory outlets for everything from a cellular phone to a laptop computer, and a spacious glove box for storing valuables out of the way and out of sight. We've spent some time talking about new features on these trucks for 1998, but it's also important to remember what has made Tahoe and Suburban so popular with buyers in the first place, like power. Power delivered by the standard Vortec 5700 or the big block 7400 available on Suburban. All Suburbans, as well as the four-wheel drive two-door Tahoe, can also be equipped with a powerful, efficient, and durable 6.5-liter V8 turbo diesel. Head-to-head, -head, the competition can't match Chevy's power or towing capability. They also can't match our roominess and utility. Sure, Expedition and Navigator can seat up to nine, just like Suburban. But the Chevy has more legroom at all seating positions, and there's a huge sacrifice in cargo room. When comparing the space behind the third seats, Expedition and Navigator fall a staggering 35.6 cubic feet short. Tahoe and Suburban also have thoughtful cargo carrying touches, like a choice of swing out doors or a drop down tailgate and lift glass combo. There are also cargo tie downs and a power door lock switch back here that allows you to lock or unlock the doors without having to go around front or dig for your remote transmitter. Now let's review the key selling features of Tahoe and Suburban. Exciting new features like a standard passlock security system, the available AutoTrack active transfer case, the OnStar system, and a comfort and security package for up-level trucks. Powerful Vortec V8s or an available 6.5 liter V8 turbo diesel and a full ladder type frame that provides both high ground clearance and a low step in height. A wide variety of upscale features, including heated outside rearview mirrors, a self-dimming inside rearview mirror, and the Homelink transmitter. And an elegant interior with logically placed controls and thoughtful touches, like a pull-out cup holder, two accessory power outlets, and a spacious glove box. Tahoe and Suburban truly are a devastating one-two punch in the full-size sport utility market. 
And just when the competition gets tougher, Chevrolet counters with innovative new features to keep the others off balance.